So creating an effective SEO content brief can make or break your content success. Most people who don't get consistent SEO results tend to just skip over this step, and this is a huge mistake. The number one reason why you need to become a master of creating SEO content briefs is because it makes your copywriter's job way easier. The better job they do, the easier it will be for you to scale your SEO campaign. So here's how to do it. Okay, so when you're inside of Rankability, all you need to do to create a content brief is we're gonna start by going to the content optimizer, and then you're gonna go ahead and just enter a keyword that you wanna rank for. So in this case, I wanna be creating a new asset as opposed to an existing asset. But if it was an existing asset, you would go ahead and just click the import URL option, and add your existing URL in this spot right here, okay? But in this case, we're just gonna be doing this, so just click Run Optimizer. So then once it's done, go ahead and just click through, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna take you to, uh, depending on what you were originally on, that's where it's gonna take you as far as the tab, but while we'll kind of walk you through a couple of these things real quickly. So we got, there's three tabs here that you can use inside the Content Optimizer, and this competitor tab is basically gonna show you a few things. Number one, it's gonna show you the rankability score for each of these individual competitors. And then it's gonna show you their domain score. So this is the overall strength of these websites, not necessarily the strength of these individual pages, but the strength of the, the domain as a whole, which we believe is more important than the overall strength of just an individual URL, okay? So what you wanna see, ideally in a perfect scenario, is you wanna see a lot of weak rankability scores and you wanna see some domain scores that are at least in your range as far as your website. So one thing you can do is you can actually just go ahead and take, just like get your domain like this, copy your domain. And if you since you don't have a page, you can go ahead and just put this in here like this. And what it will do is it will look at obviously your rankability score, which is not gonna be very good. And then it will also look at your domain score. So. And obviously you're not ranking if it's a brand new URL. So what you wanna see is like, okay, we're at a 357 domain score. We wanna to try to find a competitor in here that's within our range, okay? So we have this one and this one right here. So we've got two competitors that are in the top five that are gonna be definitely beatable, okay? So not only are they beatable from a link profile or a backlink profile perspective, but we can also beat them with that rankability score, okay? So these top two competitors have weak, you know, really weak scores, so we're gonna build out a highly, highly relevant page, and we should have no problem getting into the top five, just based on purely quantifiable metrics, okay? So based on quantifiable metrics, we can do this. Now, on the qualitative side, that's where all the magic happens, which I'll be showing you in a second, but just from a pure data perspective, it's it's pretty clear that we can, we can win on this particular keyword, okay? So what you'll do is go to the brief, and this is where this is always where you want to start when you're when you're building out an asset because this is going to prepare you and prepare the writer to be able to to set them up for success. Okay, it's really really important. Now you have two options here. First, you can build this out yourself. You just click into each field. You write a little overview of what you want. You put the URL structure that you're hoping for. You put a title tag, meta description, H1 tag, uh, the word count and the primary keyword, and you can do all this manually, okay? But I actually don't recommend that. So what I recommend doing is clicking the AI brief, all right? And what the AI brief is gonna do is it's gonna use, obviously, AI, and it's going to it's going to look at the top results in Google, and it's going to extract that information, and it's gonna put it into this brief automatically, okay? <laughs> And so a couple of these things, when it says write a 1400 word article, this is because we know by, by looking at the, the top results that 1400 words is the bare minimum uh, for this particular keyword that you should aim for. Okay, that's the bare minimum. This is not, word count is not a ranking factor, but just based on the competitors, this is probably the range that you wanna shoot for. Okay, could you rank with a thousand words? Probably, right? You could probably do it. But the point is that we're trying to hit this specific word count just so we know at least like we can check it off our list, okay? So what I like to do is generate this automatically and then go through and kind of clean this up to get it to where I want it to be. So, you know, this one is here, this is all good, this will be for the writer. And then what I'll do is I'll put our URL in there, okay? So gotchaseo.com slash SEO training Vancouver. And this will be the URL structure that I would definitely prefer. This looks perfect. And you'll see this green here, We this will change to green when you have the exact keyword in the URL, okay? Now we go to the, the meta title and title tags, SEO Training Vancouver, Master SEO with our comprehensive course. 
I don't love that angle, so I'm gonna actually change this. And I'm probably actually gonna modify this keyword a little bit to do, you know, top SEO training courses in Vancouver, okay? And then I'll do like, you know, for 2024. Okay, so this will still show red, but this is just because we're only looking, like if you have the exact match keyword in here, that's what's gonna you know give you that kind of check. But this is not required by any means. Uh, you can still rank perfectly fine without having the exact phrase. Um, but this is just one extra little thing to uh, you know kind of guide you through this process. But don't feel like you have to get this exact. It can be just like this and you'll do perfectly fine. Google, Google understands that those are the same thing. Uh, the meta description, you know, sometimes the, um, the meta description doesn't align with the angle you're going for. So this one, obviously I'm gonna have to rewrite, uh, this one here, once again, the H1, basically it, it seems like it just replicated the title tag, not a big deal, right? I might just do this and that's also going to be good for me. Word counts good. Uh, the primary keyword and the NLP keywords, these are variations, uh, and important topics that we want to hit. Okay, and then we also have content examples. Okay, this is this is also an opportunity to, to help the writer. All right, so at this point, this is just the brief. We haven't even talked about the outline, which I'll be showing you in the next video. But just just to show you how powerful this is, we'll go ahead and go to the share button, and we'll copy this over. And you can share this link with your writer, and you can see right away already we've got a nice little overview. We've got the SEO uh, details that we want them to. Uh, to follow, okay, and we've got the similar content as well that they can model or you know use what they want, okay. In the next couple of videos here, in the next one specifically, we're going to build out the content outline, and then we're going to go into the content optimizer, and you're going to see that the writer can actually produce this content inside of the content optimizer. But first, what we have to do is create an outline. So we'll be doing that in the next video.